yo what is going on Evan Dini here bringing you another division video in this one I will be going over the recently released 1.1 patch notes there is a lot to cover in this patch like new high ends dark zone changes crafting changes trading and much more so hang tight if you're new to the channel I'm glad you can stop by and if you find this video helpful be sure to smash that like button I really appreciate it and it really helps out the video now let's get started boys First, we have the new incursion, Falcon Lost. This new in-game mission will be accessible in the Stuyvesant area. You also must be a level 30 and have completed the General Assembly mission to access this mission. And the encounter will be balanced for 4 players with high level gear. I don't know what the developers consider high level gear, but all things are pointing that this thing is going to be ridiculously tough. Next, we have gear sets. Gear set equipment will be found by completing the most challenging task in Manhattan, possibly like the current challenge modes, and of course from the incursion itself. Collecting and wearing gear sets grant powerful stat bonuses and talents. Gear sets of varying gear scores can be found for many playstyles. Find the set that best suits yours. Now, there will be four gear sets being introduced with the update, and they are Tactician's Authority, which enhances electronics and support capabilities, Striker's Battle Gear, which provide bonuses for assault capabilities, Sentry's Call enhances marksman capabilities, and the Path of the Nomad, which provides bonuses for the Lone Wanderers. All of these sets will provide very powerful stat and talent buffs which will help any player wearing them in the PvE world and also in the Dark Zone. Next we have trading but it will be very restrictive as well. Items dropped by enemies can be shared with other players. You will trade items by dropping them as loot from your inventory so players in your group can pick them up. You can only share items during the first two hours after you have acquired them. Lastly, items can be shared with players who are currently in your group and who were also in your group when the item was originally dropped. Like I said, trading will be very restrictive, but I am still very happy that they are adding this into the game, restrictive or not. Moving on, there will be daily and weekly assignments added to the game. Assignments are automatically obtained when you log in and can be tracked from the map via the menu called Mission Overview. Assignments are available for a limited time, 24 hours for daily assignments and 7 days for weekly assignments, after which they will be replaced by different assignments. Now, these assignments will come in different categories such as Combat, Dark Zone, and Crafting. Most assignments can be completed while playing alone, but some will require enlisting other agents assistance. It was also mentioned that the rewards from these assignments would possibly be Phoenix credits and decent loot, but we will find out very soon. Next, we have gear score. Every non-vanity gear piece that can be found when your agent is level 30 has a gear score value. The higher an item gear score, the stronger the item. The overall score of your agent can be seen in your main menu next to your player level. Gear score will indicate the advancement of an agent. Other agents gear score will be displayed next to their health bars. And improving your gear score will grant your agent access to the most dangerous high end challenges such as the new incursion and possibly new missions. Next they will be adding a much needed group spectator camera. The spectator cam will let players spectate members of their group while waiting to be revived or the entire group to be down. Players can use the RBLB on Xbox, R1, L1 on PlayStation, and Q or E on PC to switch between group members. Honestly, this should have been with the Vanilla Division, but nonetheless, it's a good thing they are finally adding it. Next, they will be adding new high-end named weapons. There will be the Warlord, which is an assault rifle, the Valkyra, which is an SMG, and the Historian, which will be a marksman rifle. Though the Historian will be implemented into the game with this update, it will not be acquirable in-game until update 1.2. So all you snipers out there, you will just have to wait a little longer. Next, there will be some gameplay changes. First, the turret skill can no longer suppress enemy NPCs as this allowed named NPCs to be defeated too easily. Recalibrating high-end items will now cost normal credits instead of Phoenix credits and that is a great change that I 100% agree with. 
and Phoenix credit drops have been increased for level 31 and 32 named enemies. Level 30 will still be 1 to 3 Phoenix credits. Level 31 will drop 2 to 4 Phoenix credits. And level 32 will now drop 3 to 5 Phoenix credits. Another great change that I felt was needed. Next, we have crafting. And I know hardly anyone is going to agree with the changes made here. Now, there will be increased costs for converting crafting materials and crafting high-end items. 10 standard green materials instead of 5 to craft 1 specialized blue material. 15 specialized blue materials instead of 5 to craft 1 high-end gold material. And 10 high-end gold materials instead of 8 to craft 1 level 31 high-end gold item. They also changed the deconstruction yield of standard green and high-end gold items. Deconstructing a standard green item yields one standard material instead of two, and deconstructing a high-end gold item yields one high-end material instead of two. Personally, I don't agree with any of this. I believe they will see a backlash from the community about this one, but it is what it is. But they will also be adding new level 31 and 32 high-end items blueprints to vendors and remove division tech requirements from some level 31 high-end blueprints, which are blueprints you purchase from the dark zone. Now, let's talk about some dark zone changes. First, the vendor in the church safe house will now sell items in dark zone funds instead of phoenix credits and now there will be a new dark zone bracket for players with a gear score of 160 plus. This was put in to help new 30s in the dark zone not get ran over by fully geared level 30s. Also, rank requirements for superior and high-end quality items at the Dark Zone vendors will be adjusted. Superior purple items will now be rank 15 instead of 30. High-end gold level 30 gear score of 163 will now be rank 25 instead of 50. And high-end gold level 31 gear score 182 will now be rank 40 instead of 50. There has also been talk of blueprints being added to the dark zone that require level 75 and 90 in the dark zone. So if you're not there yet, you still have a week to grind, so get on it. Now, the last thing I will be going over is the dark zone supply drops. The dark zone supply drops are a global event where the Strategic Homeland Defense Agency airdrops multiple supply caches to assist division agents. The supply drops will contain non-contaminated gear of all types that will be ready for use without the need for extraction. Supply drops will occur multiple times throughout the day and the supply drops will be heavily sought after by other agents and enemy factions that roam in the dark zone, so be ready for resistance. In my eyes, this is a fantastic idea, and I am very excited to see one of these in-game and get my hands on one. Now, there was a lot of things I left out like bug fixes, exploit fixes, and platform-specific changes, but I will leave a link down in the description so you can go check out all the changes. But that's finally it, boys. I told you there was a lot, and there was. There is so much good stuff coming to the division, and there were a few changes that may not be so great. But I would like to hear your opinions on this new update. Be sure to leave a comment down below. If you found the video helpful in any way, be sure to drop a like. And be sure to subscribe for future division content. That's going to be wrapping things up for me. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.